Hello Moz fans, this is Kane Jameson and I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to test structured data on your website such as authorship using Screaming Frog and Google's web, uh, testing tool. So I'll refer back to the rest of the blog post for most of the instructions and background and why you'd want to do that. But here's a quick guide on how to do everything. You'll go ahead and get your list of URLs together and in this case I've just got a bunch of pages from our site and you can see that I have already removed HTTP colon slash slash from the beginning. We just want it to start with the subdomain and go all the way to the end of the URL. So you just want to take this full list, copy it, paste it into the A2 cell right here, and you should see most of column B update automatically. Now column B is automatically filled with this formula which is going to have a prefix. It's going to encode the URL that we put into column A and then it's just going to add this pre uh, suffix to the end of the URL and spit out the URL that we actually want to test with Webmaster Tools, uh, the structured data testing tool. So you want to take this formula and drag it down and make sure it covers all of the URLs go ahead and copy that data head over to a text editor and paste just go ahead and delete out the extra spacing from the beginning and end go ahead and save your file in this case I'm just going to overwrite my other test file and now we're going to head over to Screaming Frog when we first start it up we'll need to change this to list mode list mode simply opens up a text file like the one we just saved and crawls all of these URLs. So when we load up the text file we should see a list of every URL we entered all for webmaster tools on Google. So there's 81 URLs, click OK. And The second thing we need to do is adjust our custom filters. Now I'm going to be testing for five filters in this example. The first one, authorship is working for this web page and the second one or rel author markup has successfully established authorship for this web page. Both of those are simply testing to make sure authorship is working. Our third one, page does not contain authorship markup, will show up if authorship is not set up whatsoever. The fourth one, authorship is not working for this web page, will only show up if your implementation is partially complete. For example, if you're linking out to the author page, but the domain hasn't been added to a contributor section of your profile on Google+. That's an example of when this might show up. And the fifth one is simply the error that we get if we input a bad URL. So this is kind of a safety guard to make sure everything processes OK. So click OK on those. And we go ahead and start the file. Now this one only has 81 URLs to test so it should go fairly fast for us. We want to make sure we're seeing 200 status codes uh, and everything's reporting back OK. And then we're going to go ahead and go over to the custom tab and this is where we're going to see what's working and what's not. So anything showing up under filter 1 and filter 2, uh, first off the number should match and that's going to be all the pages that we do have authorship set up on. Filter 3 should be all the pages that we don't have authorship set up on. So you should be able to add the exported CSV files from filters 1 or 2 with the one from filter 3 and see all of the files that you tested. That should cumulatively add up to 81 for this example. Filter 4 should not show anything because we don't have any authorship uh, implementations that are broken on this site. And filter 5 shouldn't show anything because all of our tested URLs worked out just fine. So that's everything. Feel free to refer back to the blog post for some other ideas on how to make this more useful. Obviously 81 URLs isn't too much, but this should be very helpful if you're trying to test authorship implementation on larger sites with hundreds or thousands of URLs and uh, having a little bit of trouble testing all of those correctly. So thanks. Feel free to drop me a comment in the blog post here or tweet at me at Kane Jameson and I'll answer any questions you guys have. Have a good one.